Listen, listen, the judge just told us 90 seconds till they measure, so let's take until then. To all, these are the last few years of Paul. Leave no regrets here. Give it everything. Let's go. Two, one. 60 seconds. Jumping into the river is so hard to describe because it is the strangest thing to want. I don't know if you've ever seen the Black River, but it is honestly disgusting. There is nothing about it that looks like it'd be wonderful for like, a you know, just jumping in for a, on a hot summer day. Like it looks disgusting. Um, but I think the thing that is the best about it, it's just this feeling of incredible accomplishment. I mean, it's an, un, uh, an unbelievable feeling. I mean, it's kind of gross. Um, and I don't know why the winners end up swimming. Um, but it's one of those things where uh, you work hard for three hours, um, you give a trawl, and you're rewarded by um, you know, getting to swim in that river that only a select few do. What our coaches keep telling us is that you don't pull for yourself, you're pulling for your team. So to give everyone else and yourself the pleasure of swimming at the end. <laughs>
they're chanting odd year and the other team's chanting even year. Um, and it's just, it's just like a super competitive, like get the blood boiling <laughs> type thing. Um, yeah, I think it's a cool tradition. And the college gets to see it and the college gets, uh, like all the students just get to see it and get, be like, man, like what's this pull thing? Or, oh, the rope run's happening. Like that means pulls tomorrow. <laughs> just a whole bunch of traditions that we basically go through of, well, obviously just logistically warming up and bringing all our stuff out there and kind of getting a look at the site. Cause this is the first time we've ever seen the site. I've honestly never felt more calm in my life before going into something as crazy as that. I was kind of like, just settled. Honestly, just like the, the amount of competitiveness you feel in that moment is like, I've never felt like more competitive than when I was like walking up to there. You're just like, I want to win. Like, I want us to win. I want the guy behind me to win. I want the guy in front of me to win. It's just, I don't, like, you want to win, honestly. So uh, once pull started, like when we first started pulling rope in, uh, it was just kind of like super exciting. Like these whole, like these days have been building up and up and up just to like pull day. Like everyone looks at it and is so excited about it. And then once you actually physically start doing the pull, it's just exhilarating. You're finally like, I'm finally doing this. Like it's so much fun. are really the lifeline of the team. They are what keeps the team together because it's pretty hard to see something when you're in a dugout pit. And also a lot of times the pullers are in, you know, a lot of pain or they're, you know, a little disoriented from different stuff that's going on. It's really loud. And so the morallers are the ones that keep everyone on the same beat. You have to essentially put your faith in your morale for three hours. They are your eyes and your ears. You are just kind of focused on pulling. The connection you have with the morale is, it's indescribable. Suck it on you! Suck it on you! When you see each other at your worst, you're sweating. Sometimes you're crying, you're in pain. So you get to see each other in such a vulnerable state. It's just this bond that you share because you're getting through it together. I don't think you can do one without the other. You definitely can't pull without a morale. Um, and there'd be no point in morale if you didn't have someone to morale. Morale is all about giving your entire self to someone else and to the entire team and you getting absolutely no benefits from it whatsoever. And it's so cool to be on the other side of that where you know someone's doing that for you. 
Like, I appreciate my morale more than anything in the world. She's the best, and I think it's really cool to have both perspectives. And as a puller, every little pain you, you have to forget about. Men are usually pullers, women are usually morallers, and honestly, I think just the challenge of changing the gender roles was appealing. As it goes on and on and on, you start feeling like, ow, and just kind of keep thinking like, okay, how am I gonna get through this? You just kind of get in the zone and don't really like know what's going on other than like you're going through the motions. It's just second nature. Even when your body is at the brink of collapse that you just, you switch off the part of you that's telling you to stop and you just keep going. Despite the long hours, you have remained unbroken. And I am proud to call each person here my family, my even year family. We're so proud of you! You guys gave everything you had! And you won! about it's not so much about winning or losing um, but it's about knowing you gave everything you could and that you like you had nothing left to give the most memorable part is definitely the people and I think that's something that that's the reason why most people do poll is because it like the people you do poll with become your family oh,